Hi, this is Bill Prater and welcome to Supercharging Business Success. Our mission is to provide you with timely, provocative, and actionable resources that inspire, promote, and accelerate your quest towards business excellence. Today's episode is how to effectively manage a virtual organization in just seven minutes with John Golden. Now, John is an Amazon best-selling author of Winning the Battle for Sales, Lessons on Closing Every Deal from the World's Greatest Military Victories and Social Upheaval, How to Win at Social Selling. John's a globally acknowledged sales and marketing thought leader, speaker, and strategist. He's conducted over 350 video interviews of thought leaders for his podcast, Sales Pop. Uh, it's an online sales magazine, and he has a podcast channel on iTunes with 287 audio interviews. He's the uh, CSMO for Pipeliner CRM, and in his spare time, John is an avid martial arts artist. John, welcome to the program. Thank you, Bill. I appreciate it. All right, John, as I promised you, we're going to spend seven minutes. I've started mm -hmm. the timer. I've got seven questions for you. So the first one okay. is, you've been asked this many, many times, John, who in the world is your ideal client? Our ideal client, uh, it's anybody who has a sales team and who, uh, who understands and believes in sales process. That's really our I ideal client. So sales team believes in sales process. Uh, that is really our ideal customer. Okay, pure, perfect. And any size, it can be from small, medium to large. Yes, and I know when you say sales team, it could be a, a solopreneur as well. And it could be, but they're not going to get the same kind of uh, experience out of it as you would if you were using it with a team where you get more of the functionality. Uh, I got it, got it, got it. So what's the problem, the primary problem, John, that you solve there at, uh, at uh, Pipeliner? Well, again, uh, it's visibility into your revenue, management of your sales organization, um, you having a uniform sales process, predictability, efficiency, and we do it through a visual CRM that actually sales managers and salespeople like to use. Salespeople actually like to use it because it gives them all of the tools to self-manage as well, provides all of the data. You can automate some of the uh, some of the processes in there so you can get away from the mundane, the repetitive uh, tasks that uh, really suck up your time and really focus on intelligent and informed uh, prospecting and selling. Okay, now John, uh, so people are listening to you right now and they're wondering, you know, do, uh, do I need this? And so what sort of feelings or emotions you know, what's going on with people that would signal to them, hey, I need to reach out and talk to John and his company? <laughs> well, I think the first thing, Bill, is that right now, okay, so if ever there, if ever you had a wake-up call, the, 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 the crisis that we're in is the wake-up call for people who don't have good digital processes, who don't have good visibility into their pipelines, who maybe have... Um, run their, their sales organization or run their business through a combination of I can pop over to Bill, I'll give Bill a shout, I'll see, you've got to share that spreadsheet with me or is there something in the CRM? Yeah, yeah. Oh, well then give me the extra information I need uh, to fill in the gaps. That doesn't work when suddenly your organization is virtual and uh, we have a crisis like this on our hands. You need to be able to trust the data. You need to be able to access the data. You need to have visit. You need to have good digital processes. You need to have your salespeople executing the sales process in a uniform manner. And you need to be able to uh, access reporting, both leading and lagging indicators of success, and just manage your business in a more um, in a much more organized and efficient manner. And right now, a lot of people are realizing that when times are good and business is good, you know, it really does cover up a lot of inefficiencies and you tend to overlook things. You say, eh, it may be broke, but I'm not interested in fixing it because business yes. is good right now. I now, if it's broke, it's broke and it is hurting you. And that's why 
um, having digital processes, having a CRM system, and really having it work properly and having everybody in there working within it and utilizing it properly it is critical to, it's critical yes. not just now to survival, but it's going to be, it's going to be critical to the recovery. Yes, indeed, it will be now. So that leads me to question number four, and we're sitting at three and a half minutes to go. So we're okay. rough, roughly halfway done. We're perfectly on time. So John, what mistakes or what's the biggest mistake that people make trying to solve this problem on their own without using some, a tool like yours? Um, well, I mean, the, the mistake is a pretty straightforward one is that you don't have real time data. You are constantly trying to update spreadsheets, getting information from multiple sources, and ultimately you're not getting a, a clear and real time picture of what's going on with your with your sales organization, your sales process, your revenue, and you're 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 working off out of date information often, which is never a good thing. And, and then fundamentally, you're wasting an awful lot of time on manual processes. Oh, yes, indeed, indeed. So question number five, John, is what is one valuable free action that you would recommend to our listeners that they take right away? Um, one free action, I would say, is review your sales process immediately and see if, number one, if, well, if, find out if you have a sales process. Right. Find out when was the last time your sales process was reviewed? When was the last time you actually took an, a look at your sales process and analyzed whether it really fits your, the, how your buyers are buying right now? So that's the first thing I would recommend everybody to do right now that's is take a look at your, point, your sales great process. Point. I like the question, if you've got one to look at. So yeah, John, yeah. Uh, question six, uh, I know you thought about this. What's, uh, what valuable free resource have you uh, thought about to offer to our listeners here and where would they go to find it on your website? Yeah, there's a number of, there's a couple of things, Bill. Number one, I would, I would uh, recommend a free trial of Pipeliner, your 14 day free trial. And uh, you can get that at pipelinersales.com on the, on the homepage, just click on, on the free trial. That way you can get a feeling for what the product looks like and how it might work for your business. Second off, as the people are remote working right now, I would, uh, I have a series of one minute remote working tips, uh, a, a video series. I think there's about 17 of them and they're available on salespop.net. So just search for remote working. Okay, beautiful. Now, uh, uh, we'll have both of those links right here below the, uh, the, the, the podcast, John, so people won't miss them. So I have one question, one yes. minute to go. John, what question were you hoping I would ask? I didn't ask it. So what's the question and what's the answer? Um, the question is, yeah, that's a, that's a good one. The, the one question I was hoping you'd ask me is, uh, which you touched on is why is now a good time for people to address CRM? I think now is a good time for people to address all of their processes. And I think this is the, this is something that I think you ought to look at. Are you efficient? And are you looking at, if your organization is suddenly a virtual organization, are you just hoping that that's going to go away? Um, or are you taking this as an opportunity to maybe look at a better, more efficient way of organizing your, uh, your, your people and letting people have a better quality of life working from where best suits them if your business will actually sustain that. I no, think that's, that's a great thing for said. people to look at. Mm -hmm. We got three seconds to go down. Fantastic. Excellent. So everybody in closing, focus on this single fact, and that is that businesses do not become extraordinary in a single instant. They get there as a result of the owner learning and applying a proven combination of the right mindset, a dedication to a system of management, and leveraging a high performance team. Thank you all very Absolutely. much, John. Thank you very much. Thanks, great, Bill. It was a pleasure. Thank you. You kept great timekeeping. <laughs> Thank you.